Hi, I'm Roy from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 2015 Nissan Versa Note 1.6 liter automatic. The problem is the starter every so often it just goes click and they got to kind of flick the ignition switch a few times and finally it starts and it's getting worse. So uh, what I did first was I checked the battery. We always start with the battery. So I checked the battery and then that is good. So what we're gonna do is replace the starter. Okay, these are the tools that I'm gonna be using today to change the starter. This is a 3-8 air ratchet. 3-8 ratchet with a long handle. Quarter inch ratchet, 10 millimeter socket. Quarter, quarter inch extension. This is a 3-8 extension. This is a 16 millimeter socket. There's three of them, but three different lengths. Three, uh, three H drive. This is a. Uh, uh, this is a twelve in twelve millimeter socket. This is a eight millimeter wrench. Ten millimeter wrench, screwdriver. This is one extension for my three H ratchet and a battery terminal cleaner. This is the new starter that I'm going to be putting on this uh, Nissan Versa. I bought this one direct from the Nissan dealer. So we're going to be removing the negative battery terminal first. Okay. Then we're going to be removing this, this air intake right here. be removing this air box So this is the starter we're going to be removing. So first we're going to have to remove the battery cable. It takes a 12 millimeter wrench and we're going to be uh, removing the starter wire. That takes a 5 16 wrench or an 8 millimeter wrench. Okay, I removed the two wires that connected to the starter. The battery wire and the starter wire. Okay, so it's gonna there's three bolts that bolt the starter to the motor. So you're gonna have three of them, one over here, one in the center, and one below. It's hard to see the bolts on the car, but what I'll do is this is the this is the new starter that I'm gonna be putting on. Say maybe this is gonna be the front of the car, looking at the starter, and at least you can see where these bolt holes are you can get one here one here and one here so the, the two on the top you can get it from the top the one on the bottom you got to go from underneath the car to get the one from the bottom okay so I'm gonna be removing the two bolts from the top first Then I'm going to be using my pipe as an extension to loosen it. Okay, so now I loosened the bolt. Now I'm going to be using this air ratchet to unscrew it. So now I'm going to be removing the middle bolt. So I'm going to just loosen it up and hopefully uh, 
I can I can remove it with the air ratchet. At least break it loose. And take the rest out with the air ratchet. Now we're going to be removing the bolt on the bottom. So I'm going to have to jack up the vehicle and go from underneath. Now I'm removing the bottom bolt of the starter from underneath the car. Okay, I removed the three bolts that mount the starter to the motor. So now I'm going to be removing the starter. It's a little tough, but you can do it. So we're going to be installing this new starter. So however the thing came out, you got to remember and however it came out, that's how you got to put them back. Put some anti seize on top of the bolts. That way it screws in easier and next time if you ever got to take it apart, easier to come off. Okay, so the two on the top, I can get it from the top, uh, tighten it from the top, and then the one on the bottom, I gotta tighten it from the bottom. So now we're gonna be tightening up the bolts. So now we're going to go underneath and tighten the bottom bolt. Okay, we're going to be putting on the starter wires. It's a little bit hard to put on. A lot of it by feel. But you can do it. Okay. So I'm going to be installing the lower half of the air box. So it's this little stud. You're going to, uh, and there's a grommet on the engine side. You're going to have to put this stud right into the grommet. It's hard to see, but there's a rubber grommet right here. It's really hard to see. Right there. 
This is the rubber grommet. You're gonna be putting that plastic piece from the air box right into this grommet. So now we're gonna be mounting the air box. We're gonna be putting some anti-seize on top of the bolts. Putting on the air filter. Putting on the air intake. So now we're going to be connecting the battery. So before I put the terminal on, I'm going to clean it with my battery terminal cleaner. Okay, so that's how you change a starter. It's a little tough, but you can do it. If you like my videos, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I see you in the next video. Aloha.